Ladies and gentlemen, the other side of the gateway. Welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. My name is Jack the Bus. You can call me I Shinobi. We're at the second to last episode in the series. Last episode was quite the roller coaster with Al basically tossing himself out of the fight and sacrificing his uh his arm to Ed. Of course, very emotional. It made me very emotional. And also what made me even more emotional was seeing Greed's true one. And that was to have the kind of friends and family that Ed and Al have found themselves through this journey. So we're gonna hop right into it. I'm really excited to see this fight between Ed and the father how it all goes down and how the series concludes don't you even want freedom hohenheim in that case you're no different from me trapped inside this stuffy blast oh interesting uh i feel like foreshadowing ending but very interesting the other side of the gateway here we go who just said that is that the father is the spirit and the soul with his bare hands oh, all this time he's needed alchemy but he's instead of using his brother's right or left arm or no it is his right arm right because he was pinned like yeah is that it what is this it, it's done that it's the whole time is that the god that he absorbed <laughs> sorry No! I'm also worried about Ling, dude. I'm not letting you go that easily. I need you with me if I'm gonna be Emperor. Just like Wow, Ling. He's starting to rip apart. He has to let go. Poor Ling. It's not quite as ideal as being king of the world. But I can make do with Emperor Let's fight him together. Hey, partner. That's more like it. I tricked them. What are you? It's time to say goodbye, kid. There's no point in you getting sucked into my old man. Dude, I liked Creed so much. Hold on a second, Creed. You just told me we'd fight together. How could you lie? You always said you don't believe in telling lies. I can't end this way. <laughs> oh, you fell for it. Who applied in sync, are you little pissant? That was the one and only lie of my life. Let's sacrifice himself. So you don't even need me anymore, kid. But I do. He means he needs some beyond power. No way. Don't do this! Hey! Lord Bot! Later. Oh my god. How could you Finally got away from that annoying breath. Wait, now wait, he's absorbing him. Why, Greed? Why would you betray your own father? I've always had a rebellious streak, Pastor. What's he doing to him? I've Is he here? the ultimate shield you gave me and transformed your body into the most fragile carbon there is. Oh you my god! Be gone, fool! Return to nothing! My man's fought to the very end for good. Damn it. Looks like this is the end. Dog, the best of the sins by far. I could do without that pitiful look right now. You're wrong, Greed. They'll always be a part of you. Friends are a part of your soul. He learned that. that that's why he rebelled. I've got nothing. Why not come with us? I can't believe I let Ling and the little run talk to me that way. That's all I really need. They gave me everything I could want. God dang it, dude. How did how did Kimberly and Greed end up two of the Oh my god. He said my friends, dude. Friends. That's it. He freed all the souls. A stone! You destroyed my stone! What is this? to where you were born. Go back to nothing. I just, I just wanted, wanted to understand this wealth knowledge. I wanted to experience it. I just wanted to be free. I do not. Dude, it can't make me feel bad for, I mean, the destruction and chaos literally reduced to nothingness. The gateway, it's in the gateway. Tell me, why did you refuse to join me? Why God? 
How did I disappoint you? You were incapable of believing in yourself. You stole your power from others. You rejected your human origin and chose to covet the power of what you call God. You never grew beyond your in reality. Oh. Did you truly think you'd become superior to humans by removing your seven desires? I only wanted to obtain perfection. I wanted this world's knowledge for my own. Why should I be punished for that? What's wrong with craving knowledge? What's wrong with seeking perfection? Well, the way you did it. Well, speak. What are you anyway? Do you even have a name? Who the hell do you think you are? You. Who am I? One name you might have for me is the world. Or you might call me the universe. Or perhaps God. Or perhaps the truth. I am all, and I am one. And so, of course, this also means that I am you. Yeah. And Humans who would dare to play God must pay a steep price for their arrogance. That is truth. He is human at heart? I will bestow upon you the despair you deserve. Said it himself. God. This despair is reserved for the boastful. Just tell me what I was supposed to do! You simply must have seen the answer with your own eyes. Was it like the, like how humans actually have a necessity, like... Is it over? Did but Al... Alphonse hasn't returned from the other side. I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! It's not your fault, mate. It was Al's decision. Ed! I've got the toll for him. It's a philosopher's stone. Use it to bring him back. I can't. As much as I want. Dude, the fact that I Ling can't. is ready to give that up too. I whenever never use a philosopher's stone. That was Ling's whole journey was to have a philosopher's stone, and he's ready to just throw that away because of these bonds. There has to be a way to get him back, Edward. <laughs> Owenheim. Use my life for the toll. Use me to save Alphonse. Owenheim's gonna say he owes it to them. Enough life. He is a philosopher's no stone, though. I That's the same never thing. Do that, you dumbass! This doesn't have anything to do with you. It's our own damn fault. I won't use another human life to get out back. Why should you sacrifice your life for our mistake? Because I'm his father, and that's the only thing that matters. Mm -hmm. You don't know how much you boys mean to me. I just want you to be happy. And I do bear some responsibility for this. This might not have happened if I'd just been there for you. I still don't think Ed will do it. Just give me this chance. Shut up, you rotten father! If you say something that dumb again, then I'll knock you out! He can't do it himself. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Come on! You're the youngest state alchemist in history, damn it! You've even passed through your own portal of no truth solution. so you can transfuse with your bare hands! You've got plenty of people waiting for you and your brother to get your bodies back. If you believe the possibility exists, then you should do whatever it takes. There has to be some way. I know it. I know there is. His hand. Maybe because it's his brother's hand, he can sacrifice... I don't know. The, the arm? Go to the gateway? She cared so deeply for Al. Yeah. Zampano, Mr. Gorilla, breaks soldiers. I can't believe Zampano and Mr. Major. Gorilla made it to the end, dude. Fond Fond Teacher, um, our father. I knew he wouldn't want to use his father's as as the sacrifice. May, stand back a little. He looks confident in it too. It's a human transmutation circle. I'll be back in a few minutes. He's gonna send this himself. Is my last transmutation. Stand back and enjoy the show. Was it work? His, fa his father leaned forward like like he's like basically like a go go for it. He made it. I take it you're here to retrieve but your how, brother. How did they get Just back? You plan on pulling an entire human out of here? Yeah. That's your payment. Do you intend to offer your own body? Yeah, I've got your payment right here. So go ahead and take it. This thing is my portal of truth, so I get to make the decision on how it's used. Huh? <laughs> it's come to that. And you're sure about this? You do realize that you'll never be able to perform alchemy again without your portal. I'm aware of that. Hmm. This portal. That's why he said it was his it final circle. Every secret alchemy has to offer. It's also led me astray. I saw the truth that lies within it. I became convinced I could solve everything with alchemy. I couldn't possibly have been more wrong. The benefits of it was just arrogance. Don't outweigh the cost. You're willing to cast it aside to lower yourself to a simple human. What do you mean lower myself? He already it's is. The only thing I've ever been. Yeah. Think carefully now. 
Like his inner thoughts talking to him, like trying to convince himself against it. Who even needs alchemy when I've got them? You've done it! That's the right answer! Good job! You beat me! Go ahead, take him home! He sacrifices all of his knowledge of alchemy. He is himself. He started to sound like himself at the end. It was slowly overlaying into his voice. And now, God dang it, dude! <laughs> Speak for yourself. Now let's go home together. Hey, he's waking up. How are you feeling? You okay? And Darius. Oh my God! Here, Dad. Hey. It's ow! Oh my God! Home at last. It's so warm. Help. You can feel the warmth. I, I, I was scared. I bet. Sorry, it was wrong of me to put you through that. It's okay now. Thank you. Oh my God! You're listening to Radio Capital. To conclude our coverage of today's event, General Armstrong and Colonel Mustang have taken control of Central Command and successfully defeated the military coup d'état perpetrated by the Oh my staff. God, Miss Bradley! The coup was centered around an alchemic procedure which would have sacrificed the nation's population. Details of the procedure have yet to be released, but General Kremen and General Edison have been apprehended as the two lead conspirators. All of their opposing forces uh. have now been dis. Arm. That's Lord it. Emperor, King Bradley and his son Selene tragically lost their lives amidst the day's turmoil. Wow. The, they're not revealing that they were. Colonel Mustang released huh. an official statement that he would carry on with the Bureau's wishes. They and used that he would the two. Uh... Oversee all matters of national security. Because I think they they saw that. I mean, you are the one who gave me blood, right? From birth, Bradley was used. Don't you even want freedom, Hohenheim? Okay, then. What is it that makes you happy? I'd hate to be guilty of asking too much, but I think I'd be happy if I could just leave this flask. You were born of my blood, dwarf, a flask, homunculus. In the end, you and I were still as one. Mr. Hohenheim. Hi, Alex. I personally saw to it that your sons were admitted to the hospital. Thank you. They probably wouldn't go themselves. Nonsense. I am the one who is truly grateful. We are all in debt to the efforts of Edward and the Alex. Elric brothers. Without those boys' relentless courage, this nation would be no more. Thank you very much. Thank you. They gotta re reunite with Winry now. Off he goes. Where will he go? Back to the graveyard. Hello, Trisha. I'm home. <laughs> oh. So get this. Ed actually called me his father. <laughs> Although he did preface it with rotten. <laughs> Living through all of these endless years, I always felt like I'd been struck with a curse. Oh my god, he's gonna and die I with her. You we had our sons, and I suddenly felt blessed, grateful for the life I had. I've had a fulfilling life. Thank this is so unfair. It's been enough. Thank you, Trisha. Believe it or not, I actually want to keep on living. I guess I'm pretty hopeless, aren't I, Trisha? <sighs> oh my god. Hohenheim! I didn't know you were back. His hair. Silly old fool. Well, at least you died with a smile on your face, my friend. <laughs> that was painful, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> oh my god. That's not even the last episode either, dude. Oh my god. That was really painful. I'm not gonna lie. Oh man. Just greed sacrifice. Al getting his body back. Ed giving up alchemy. And then Ho and I dying, dying by Trish's side. I just, dude, what a show. What a wrap up too. Oh my god. Who? Just such talented everything. Voice acting, animation, everything. My god, storytelling. Oh, what a show. I'm so excited to see how they wrap it all up because I think there are some loose ends that can be tied up. I'm excited to see how they happen because, man, like I said, the character arcs is very, 
very satisfying, I think. Um, seeing how everyone, especially for all the sins in particular, how you see their true nature at the end. All, every time you see their true nature at the end, I think Grease was the most touching. I think Envy's was a bit of like a tease for what was to come because Envy's was the first where I was like, my God, like, wow, like they uh, have these human-like qualities and tendencies. And that was kind of like Ed's goal at the end was I'm, I'm not this insane alchemist. I'm still just like a human at the very core of things. So my God, um, <laughs> great episode. I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you uh, in the next one for the very last episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Peace, peace.